the field of one line at the location of the other, we can say that the electric field would be equal to linear charge density uh, lambda divided by 2 pi times the epsilon, not the permittivity of a vacuum. For the charge, we know that uh, the, the differential of the charge would equal the linear charge density times the, the change in distance on one line. And so the force on it, on the line due to the other line, the differential force would be equal to the electric field of magnitude times the change, or rather the uh, differential charge. And so the force would be equaling uh, the electric field multiplied by Q. And so we can then say that Q would be equaling lambda times X. And we can find the electric field by plugging in would be lambda, the linear charge density. This is 5.20 times 10 to the negative sixth coulombs per meter divided by 2 pi multiplied by 8.854 times 10 to the negative 12th coulomb squared per newton per meter squared multiplied by r of 0 0.300 meters. This is giving us 3.116 times 10 to the fifth uh, newtons per coulomb. And the force on one line due to the other line would be the force equaling the electric field times Q. This is equaling E times lambda times X. This is equaling 3.116 times 10 to the fifth newtons per coulomb times the linear charge density of, again, 5.20 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs per meter multiplied by 0 0.0500 meters. And we find that then the force is going to be equaling 0 0.0810 newtons. This would be our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.